Okay, can you share your screen? Yeah. Okay. So Aranya is going to talk about island phase curve and subregion complexity. Aranya, please go ahead. Okay. Uh, yeah. So thank you. Uh, let me thank the organizer first for uh, giving me this opportunity to present my work in this conference. So I'll be talking about island space curve and subregion complexity. And uh, this is based on work done with collaboration in collaboration with uh, Arpan Bhattacharya, Pratik Nandi, and Pawan Kumar Patra. This will be mostly based on this paper, but I'll also flash a few results from our uh, more recent papers in the last couple of slides. So we have already heard a couple of talks on islands in the previous two days. So islands are newly encoded regions in the entanglement wage of the radiation subsystem after the page time. Uh, and this was work done, this, is, this result is due to the work of these authors. So the idea is that the radiation bath, uh, especially in these papers, they considered a non-gravitational radiation bath. And the radiation bath gets access to purely bulk regions from the black hole site, starting from this page time. Uh, and this uh, islands or this change of minimal surface is captured by the quantum extremal surface, which was uh, put forward by Angel Hart and Wall. So this change is, happens at page time. Uh, the main result of this change is that the bend, the entanglement, growing entanglement in the curve bends at some point, which is the page time, and we get a we indeed get a page curve, which is different for evaporating and eternal black holes. So for evaporating black holes, it goes up and after the bending, it comes back down to zero. Whereas for eternal black hole, it saturates after page time. Uh, so we want to ask a question that uh, if we can know more about the fine grained bath side of the state, evolving state using inputs from quantum extremal surface. So remember that the radiation plus black hole will be our PO state. So if we are concentrating on the bath side, which is the radiation side, it will be a mixed state. We are looking at a uh, evolution of a mixed state. So we'll be looking at uh, complexity, which is basically a quantum information measure quantifying the complication of preparing any target state given a starting reference state. And typically in the literature of circuit complexity, one computes the optimal number of elementary quantum gates needed to construct this target state from a given reference state using these elementary state of quantum gates. There are also other proposals of complexity, for example, Krilov complexity, which Shovik talked about yesterday. And this is due to work of these authors. So for mixed states, what is what would be the definition of complexity? So usually complexity is defined for pure states, but for mixed states, what one does is uh, again, they purify the mixed state uh, by adding auxiliary system parameters and consider all possible purifications. And numerically, we have to minimize the complexity functional with respect to this auxiliary system parameters that we add to the system mixed state to purify it. So the holographic duals of this complexity has been proposed by uh, Saskine Brown and many other authors. So the idea is to compute maximal sub maximal volume slice, space-time volume, or the action of the wheeler dewitt patch uh, to get the complexity of the pure state. Whereas for the mixed state, the idea is to compute the subregion co-dimension one volume uh, associated to the entanglement wage of the subsystem. Uh, for a time-dependent situation, one has to compute the maximum volume below possible all possible candidates of HRT. And this is due to the work of these authors. So what we will be doing is to look at volumes below the quantum extremal surfaces at different times, especially uh, we want to see what happens when the page transition takes place. And we found in a previous paper that uh, there is a jump at, of, at, in the subregion complexity at page transition point. So we'll, uh, the idea is to have some uh, general idea about the evolving radiation state. So this is the outline of the talk. I'll be talking about the model firstly, then the subregion complexity of the radiation, some other studies, and 
I'll end with concluding remarks. So uh, recently there have been in the models that Island have been studied, uh, especially in higher dimensions, brain world models have played a major role, which are W holographic models and Randall syndrome brain worlds with subcritical tension brains have come in there, especially the Karch Randall brain world models where the gravitons are mass massive. Uh, but in a recent work, also weakly gravitating bath was considered by introducing a second brain in the bulk and gravitons becomes massless and localized on the weakly gravitating brain in this case. So uh, the brain angles when two brains are present in the bulk dictate the strength of the gravity on the brain. Uh, weak so weak gravity would mean a less angled brain. For example, in this figure, the, this is taken from this paper by Ging and collaborators. And the right brain, which is in a lesser angle with the conformal boundary is the weak gravitating, sort of gravitating bath. And this is the physical brain. This uh, bulk region can be taken to be zero temperature or black string configuration, thermal black string configuration. And for both of these situations, the authors found that there is actually for a dynamical radiation, there is no diffeomorphism invariant way to differentiate between the local degrees of freedom. So uh, we cannot, so using the ideas of double holography, if we compute the uh, RT surface in the bulk for this dynamical radiation scenario, one finds that for a vacuum solution in the bulk, the HRT is just a point. And for a black string configuration, the, it is the horizon over here. So, and it is, there is no change of uh, extremal surface in this picture. So for a weakly gravitating bar, the entanglement entropy is a time independent constant supported by previous flat space arguments by uh, these authors in a paper, which says that the all bulk information, even uh, the information inside black hole is present in an infinite symmetry with Cauchy slice on boundary. But uh, we will be doing something else with this model, which was also uh, talked about in this paper. So they also studied something called the left-right entanglement, where they indeed reproduce a page curve, uh, which is of the type of the eternal black hole. So no page curve for dynamical radiation with gravitating bath. However, uh, they find an eternal black hole type of page curve for the left and right modes of the thermofield double state. So the, this, this red point is a D minus one dimensional defect safety. And there is a thermofield double state. So it has a partner uh, defect mode on the other side. So there is a partition made on this defect modes, which they call left and right modes. And let's see uh, how the degrees of freedom in the bulk or on the brains will uh, react to this partition. So will the left and right modes be on the left and right brains? We'll know more about this in a while. So we'll, uh, we, they consider candidate RT surfaces and the uh, idea is that always they have to end on the defect. Uh, there is no other constraint on the partition of left or right modes, but the uh, RT surfaces have to end on the defect. So there can be two kinds of RT surfaces, one going from this defect to its partner defect which is the hartmann maldacena mathu surface, which grows indefinitely, which is this uh, black line. And there can be other kinds of surfaces which end on the left or right brain. Uh, in this case, one finds that particularly there is a surface uh, which ends on the left brain, which after some time can be the minimal surface. So initially the hartmann maldacena mathu surface is the minimal surface, but at some later point of time, this uh, surface which we call the island surface becomes a minimal surface. So there's a transition happening and we uh, reproduce this eternal black hole page curve. So- Aranya, you have yeah. about five minutes. Okay, okay. So after the minimal surface shift from hartmann maldas and Amathu to island surface, some of the right modes appear on the left brain as well. Beforehand, all the right modes seem to be on the right brain, but after this transition, uh, some of the modes also right modes are uh, seem to present be present on this part of the left brain. Uh, okay, so when we compute the subregion complexity below the surfaces, we will uh, use the 
this proposal where the covariant proposal where we look for co dimension one bulk slices uh, with general so the it will be anchored on the boundary but it can go to other uh, times apart from the boundary time and uh, among infinite number of such slices take the one with the maximal volume so we compute such volume and we find that uh, initially the hartman maldasena mathu volume is this region between the right brain and the uh, hartman maldasena mathu surface so right brain here is the analog of the radiation region which gets access to a uh, some new modes after the page time what we call the page time and there is a jump at page time uh, which is this region getting added to the entanglement wedge of this uh, right modes and this newly added volume also grows with time uh, as it involves beyond horizon region so this this region will also have beyond horizon regions so what we find is that the complexity keeps growing the complexity of the analogous to radiation region keeps growing and there is a jump at the page time and this jump uh, itself keeps growing after the page time as well so here we have just plotted the change of this uh, from this plot to this plot and after the page time as well so this jump keeps growing so other uh, let me mention a couple of other related studies which is in a very recent paper that appeared yesterday with uh, our new paper in that we have studied a model where the bath is the conformal boundary and we deformed it by introducing scalar perturbations resulting in a set of rg flows uh schwarzschild to kastner in the near singular geometry and the jump is found to be related to the page time so if we increase the scalar parameter the page time seems to increase and saturate at some point and we find that the jump also uh, shows similar behavior it decreases and saturation uh, saturates at similar point of time uh, scalar parameter value and in a uh, in an earlier paper we showed that in a multi boundary wormhole model even if we have access to a part of the radiation subsystem uh, even then there is a transition of the qes surface corresponding to this half of the radiation subsystem but this transition happens at a much later time than the page time uh, yeah so these are two just results so i'm maybe running out of time so let me conclude so we compute left and right complexities where the system follows an eternal uh, page curve of the entanglement entropy at page transition point subregion complexity is goes through a jump right for the right brain and a dip for the left brain consistent with previous studies uh, in one of our papers for evaporating black holes and quantum extremal islands made easy part 3 complexity on the brain by myers and collaborators the jump has a uh, following uh, the following plausible explanation that it is due to the explicit purification of the modes between the island side and the radiation region so this we call the auto purification we have to we don't have to introduce an auxiliary system to purify the uh, mixed state here some part of the mixed state gets auto purified due to the inclusion of the island region so this volume corresponding to the right brain after page time keeps growing forever with the slope increasing a bit after the jump uh, but there are a few more questions we can ask which is this universally found jump seems to depend on the page time inversely as we found in our most most recent paper so what else does it depend on we also don't have a very clear idea from this models that what does page time itself depends on in this models uh, so it would be interesting to filter out physical information from these fairly different models that people study for this island situations and look for more universal features within these models okay that's all thank you thanks sir enough for finishing in time questions Okay, if there are no questions. Let's thank Aramne again. Thank you. Parthi, are you there? Uh, yes, yes. Can you hear me? Am I audible? Yes, yes, I am. Yes, yes. You are audible. Can you please share your screen? Yeah. Uh, is it? Uh, 